Hey everybody, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Union Cross. So I'm gonna do my metal spotlight on Cyx before I actually do my free-to-play run on this because a lot of people are already asking what skills, what traits, so on and so on. So we're just gonna go for I don't know about a guilt. I might do a guilt, we'll see, but I really feel like there's a guilty campaign around the corner, and if there isn't, these medals have a chance of being 40%. And 40% guilt is really, really low. That's 60 mirrors to get him up. And we only have one chance of this. So I always recommend do not guilt your medals outside of guilting campaigns. Especially if you don't, don't need it to pass anything. If you don't need it yet, then just wait. If somewhere down the line you need a really good reverse power medal, then do it before a guilting campaign. Take your chance. But always wait, guys. So for this medal spotlight, we are going to guilt him first. And then whatever traits we get, we put a skill on it. So... But obviously, there's only one type of skill we can put on this, but let's just go for this. Let's go for the combine over here. So, I'm aiming for negative 60 air because there's a lot of helicopter fleets, black copter fleets. Um, there's just a lot of annoying uh, green, not green, speed air enemies like the invisibles. Just a ton, especially in the Coliseum right now. A lot of green speed is green speed a lot of uh, air speed enemies are really really bad so having air negative 60 on this is going to be the best thing so let's go for the trait rolls i am going to remember to level these guys up to level uh six before i combine all of them together we won't have that incident i keep saying it every time all right so thousand damage negative 60 negative 60. now that's if you're not a raider if you do lux ranking and you raid a lot Raid damage on this guy is going to be insane. Having this guy have plus 40% to raid damage towards bosses. If you're a Lux Farmer, this is a Lux Farming Metal. With that multiplier and that much damage, you guys are going to farm Lux like no tomorrow. So, if I don't get a decent trade here for, let's say, damage, then I'll probably go with the Lux Farming. Just to have that extra metal for Lux Farming. So, let me just make sure that's my third one. So, we got four together. Another thing I wanted to do was if we were, if we had a lot of Mickey Brooms, I would say make two copies um, and use Mickey Brooms to guilt both of them. If you make two copies, one with negative 60 air and one with negative 60 ground, but it's really a waste of Mickey Brooms in the end of it. Just grab one of them and just guilt it. It's totally fine. So that's the second time Defense Boost showed up. I should really just have kept it. Maybe the RNG would have been better. Who knows? 80 out of 80. Got a lucky one there. Let's evolve him. All right. By the way, his metal, his six-star metal looks terrible. One, the neck looks broken. Two, where is the right side jawline or cheek or any of that? Nothing about his head makes sense. At least to me anyways, and a lot of other people too. He just looks, he looks broken. He looks like he's, he's not well. So let's do the second one and hopefully we get something out of this. Not one negative 60 showed up so far, not even plus 1,000 strength, which is kind of bad, but... Obviously, it's trait roll and you can't do anything about it. Extra attack. Okay, extra attack is not bad because if you have your own general defense down medals on your keyblade, like you make plus four general defense down or six, you don't need negative 60 traits. Once you have enough general defense down buffs, your medal is actually good enough to just do the damage without the help of that trait. So, I'm okay with extra attack. At least I got one because extra attack is better than plus 1,000 strength as long as you're not lux farming or doing high score challenges. All right, so last chance, second last chance to get a negative 60 trait. Ray damage over extra attack. A lot of you guys are going to hate me right now probably because I do want the extra attack, but ray damage, if it's a ray damage metal, it's a ray damage metal. What can I do? But extra attack is extra attack. You guys are going to hate me. Oh, man, I'm going to do the ray damage. I'm going to do the ray damage just because he can be a Lux Farming metal as much as I hate Lux Farming. Uh, what are you going to do? All right, so I'm going to level this guy up. That sucks. I, that sucks that I had to choose between extra attack and Lux farming. But choices have to be made. It's totally fine. Let's get this guy up to six stars. Let's fuse the other one in and go for the guilt. I can't believe I'm going to guilt roll this guy. He's equipped. So let me just go to my equipment take him out. Okay. Here we go. Here's a guilt. Again, I do not recommend anybody guilting him outside of a guilty campaign. And it's probably going to show in this video... Why not to do this? But hopefully I get 80 or higher. That'd be great. 85%. Okay, I'm totally fine with that. That's not going to happen to everyone. You have a chance of getting 40%. Look at that multiplier. 6.41. Oh my god, that's a 
Max HP, all right, it looks like I have a Lux Farming Medal. Now, for everybody else, if you guys ended up getting, let's say, negative 60, negative 60, or plus 1,000, the hands down best skill to go for this guy here, just because he costs 5 SP, is attack boost 3 or 4 max with SP gauge, because that cost is way too much. Now, this guy's going to be the best for raiding, because it's a single target, and any bosses down the line, even the same attribute or opposite attribute. That Lux, I mean, that damage right there, 6.41, is huge is insane it's just 6.41 at 100 percent and if you copy with a key art even more ridiculous again the skill if raid damage i'm gonna wait for an attack boost 3 max with lux plus or attack boost 4 max with lux plus but for now just for the sake of this video to show you a little bit of damage i do have a ton of attack boost 2s so i'm gonna put attack boost 2 on him just to show extra damage because with attack boost 3 you know what i even have attack boost 2 do i not have attack boost 3 i don't so I don't have the proper one. I am going to just stick an attack boost 2 on him for now. Just to show you guys a little bit of extra damage like I said before. But the true damage is going to come from copying this metal. That's going to be insane. So level 100 out of 100. We got him on all the keyblades. Let's talk about the keyblades first. Alright, so for equipment, my two favorites have to be the Stroke of Midnight and the Fenrir. I switched it around a little bit just because you can't forget that... Cyx here does more damage the more gauges are full so I don't know the exact number if you guys know the exact number Let me know in the comment section, but I'm gonna play it safe and either put a Kyrie 2 before you're gonna do his whole attack or a VV Illustrated VV whichever one you guys got restore your SP before you use this guy's attack so To have the full potential VVs or Kyrie 2 somewhere right before him again I don't know the exact number you probably don't need perfect SP it probably has to be like above 10 SP so 10 SP or higher, if it's like the other metals, I'm not 100% on this, but let's just be safe and do that. But hands down, Stroke of Midnight, because he's at the end of the Keyblade, high multiplier and just full buffs for him. Or Fenrir, if you have a Sky, because he is going to copy Psyx and be 150% guilted while he's also doing damage. So speed enemies, single target are just going to get destroyed. And then, <clears throat> later on, I'm going to show you... Uh, Divine Rose set up here just to copy 150% guilt with negative 60 to show you some Coliseum. So I can't really show you Coliseum with these setups because Cyx didn't get any negative 60 air or negative 60 ground. So Coliseum without general defense down medals is not going to do too much. But let's go into the Proud Quest Plus here and do the last quest. I'm going to show you Stroke of Midnight first just because um, that's the second last and then i'm gonna show you friend weird that's my favorite and then so on and so on with the divine robes so here's three setups that i did real quick just to show off his power hopefully a lot of it goes off the only problem here with this enemy is that this needle has a general defense up already which kind of sucks so he doesn't have extra defense but that's all right here we go we got to restore sp so Cyx has the most damage possible and then even though it's random look for the yellow number there we go, 25,000 per hit there. I'm just going to use Nova to finish this off and carry on. And we're going to go to the next room. Because the next room, I believe, has an invisible. And yeah, there we go. That's why I want negative 60 air trait because of enemies like this. But this guy doesn't have any general defense up, which is going to work beautifully. We're going to go for the four power down defense. And then obviously, Illustrated VV is going to give him time six, time six, which is beautiful. <clears throat> Losing my voice a little bit. All right. So, Cyx, hopefully attack boost 2 goes off to show a little bit of power. No attack boost 2, but 22,000 damage per hit on that enemy, which is insane for a Proud Plus 490 enemies, which is really, really good. Again, if we had negative 60 traits, it'd be so much better. But you got to remember, your SP has to be pretty high. So, putting attack boost 3, max and SP gauge on him is going to work out really, really good. All right, for this last one, I am going to do this setup, but I'm going to look for a ground enemy that's in the beginning. I believe this one has ground enemies right away because I want to show off if your Psyx had negative 60 and also 150% guilt. So it's not going to really show the true power of him, but it's good enough. Okay, there's two ground enemies here. Let's go for taking away the buffs and go for this attack here, guys. This is going to show if you had negative 60 on your Psyx. Obviously, I can't show it properly because this is 150% guilt and mine didn't get the proper traits, but you'll get the, the idea out of here. 
So I can't activate his metal on this setup because he's not in the proper slot. But this one is 2.8 multiplier, 66,000 damage, guys. 66,000 damage. That's incredible for copying the metal. So copying the metal is huge, especially if we hit some single target enemies. Like, let me see if I can find a single target enemy right now. Dark side by himself. Let's go for not this, but let's go for friend rear here and let's do some damage. So this is going to be a single target boss, which is going to work out beautifully. He is ground. I'm not going to show the negative 60 ground trait. I just want to show a setup with uh, the friend rear because one, I have a Psyx myself and then I can copy it again. Like I keep saying such a good combination on the friend rear guys. It's really good. Hopefully you guys got some skies and you guilted it. It's a really good metal to have. This really planned out nicely as we pull all this. My free to play count has sky. So once I get friend rear, I'm going to have a really good time. So here we go. Psyx by himself, 27,000 damage. Again, SP is an issue, but I think it's above 10 SP. That should be fine. And 42,700. And wow, guys, that is so much damage. So much damage off one keyblade setup. And then we obviously got our friend metal. So we are looking at a lot of damage, like incredible. If, if I got some negative 60s, it would have been totally great to actually do all this in Coliseum, but sadly I didn't get it. Um, Coliseum, I can't really show you much because all the speed enemies are flying pretty much. Uh, air. I guess I can go for the Armored Warrior and I'll use that Divine Rose setup just to show you guys because it has a negative 60 on it. So I might be able to do some damage to this. We'll see. I don't have any, I don't need any general defense down just because my beginnings does have that negative 60 again. So let's just try this out. Restore the SP. I'm going to skip Sykes on this one again because it's not proper multiplier. So it's not going to do any damage. But this should do damage. And power versus power. 44,809. Took down the Armored Warrior. Um, I'm going to let that play through because that's a one turn right there. Not even the fifth medal needed. That's how good copying this medal is as well, guys. So there you go. There's some Keyblade setups. There's some ideas. Um, later on, if we do get Attack Boost 3 Max with Lux Plus... It is going to be kind of bad because it takes away 5 SP. So the best situation is an attack boost 3 max with XP gauge or attack boost 4 max with SP gauge. Just remember that you want to save those also for your high score challenge medals. So don't just waste them right away. But if this is your strongest medal and you're able to get it, it's not a bad idea at all. But if you got a rating medal, you obviously want attack boost and Lux plus on him. Even though his multiplier is not going to be as high, his multiplier is still really high on that low slot there. An 8 point, what is that, 72? Even if you don't fulfill the requirement, an 8.72 multiplier is high still. Very, very high. But obviously, you want the SP restore. So try to stick in the Illustrated Kyrie 2 right before him. If you're going for attack boost 4 Lux Plus or attack boost 3 Lux Plus. Because he costs 5. So that's going to take away a lot of your SP. So that's the Metal Spotlight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling. And I'll see you in the next one.